Why do these orangutans and siamangs live together? Orangutans and siamangs live in the same forest in Sumatra. And so in zoos, they tend to like sharing the same space and they like to play with one another too. Wow, those monkeys are making a lot of noise. Are they talking to each other? They sure are. Monkeys love to communicate through making loud sounds to one another to let each other know how they're feeling, where food might be, or a predator is coming by. Oh, by the way, what's the difference between a monkey and an ape? The biggest difference is that monkeys have tails and apes do not. Oh, look, is that a baby monkey? Yeah, that is a baby monkey. Babies tend to travel with their moms and hold onto them for the first few months of their lives. So where do monkeys sleep? Monkeys like to sleep up high, usually in the trees with their family. Do they have big families? Some monkeys or primates like to live in small families and some live in big families. Some live with just mom and dad and their brother and sister, and some live with grandma and grandpa and aunts and uncles and cousins too. Sounds like a family reunion. Get ready for some serious monkey business. <laughs> Ooh, a gorilla. What's their family like? Gorillas are led by an adult male called the silverback with lots of females and their babies. Wait a minute. Look at that. Why do gorillas walk on their knuckles? Gorillas walk on their knuckles in order to help them be stable when they're walking around the canopy floor. What kind of food do primates eat here at the zoo? Here at the San Diego Zoo, the primates get a well-balanced diet of vegetables, roots, fruit, greens, and some biscuits that are full of vitamins and nutrients, and they get lots of yummy snacks too, like popcorn, peanuts, sunflower seeds, and Cheerios. How does the San Diego Zoo help protect primates? So San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance has conservation hubs all around the world. And one of them is in the African forest, which is a biodiversity hotspot, which is full of endangered animals and essential forests that we're helping to protect. Thanks, Yelaney. Bye. Bye, Lorax. See you next time. You can help protect monkeys, primates, and other animals in the rainforest by asking your family to use products with eco-friendly labels like paper and wood items that are good for the environment. You can write letters or draw pictures asking companies to protect the rainforests. And you can learn more about primates by reading books or visiting your local zoo. Thanks for joining me on our monkey adventure. I'm giving you a truffle -a trophy You can collect all my trophies by learning about other amazing animals and places you can help protect. Keep on caring, nature keepers.